Devastating fire and flood two years apart, but it is a blow to the people in Wimberley who have been trying to move on after the deadly floods of 2015. It's after fire destroyed the Cypress Creek Cafe in Wimberley. The owners were able to get out safely, but their two cats and dog did not make it. And now a piece of Wimberley's heart is once again breaking and in need of repair. KXN's George Rodas is live in Wimberley with a closer look on day two. You were out there yesterday on this breaking news, George. Yeah, good morning. And there were a lot of people out taking this site in, and you could tell it was hurting them today if they walk by. They'll see this, the building left alone, quiet, yellow tape, a fence surrounding it, protecting people from the damaged structure. And this isn't something that's easy for the people here to see. They've been talking to us all day yesterday about this, and there are new concerns about what this fire will do to the town's psyche. And here's what I mean about that. We spoke yesterday with Mayor Mac McCullough, who fears the deeper lasting impact of this fire. He says there are many families still rebuilding their lives and rebuilding their homes after the 2015 floods. And he's worried those families will see this cafe, which has represented the city's resiliency since then, burned and broken and give up hope on their rebuild. That's something leaders here feel the city cannot take and hurts the city's spirit. We spoke to Wimberley's former mayor, Bob Flocky, about this. He says he's holding out hope. It hurts. It hurts. But you know what? This town, it seems like we're on a two-year cycle. Two years, uh, Four years ago, our Ace Hardware store burned down, and the town pulled together. And then two years ago, we had the Memorial Day weekend floods and uh, the town pulled together. And it certainly does have an impact, and it'll affect different people in different ways. But I think overall, the impact is going to be positive because of the way that we pull together as a community. As the future of this business is still uncertain at this point, the owner's not sure if they're going to rebuild. The local community radio station, KWVH, they started because of the floods. They started broadcasting as a way to keep people up to date on that. They say now they're dealing with another community tragedy and they're going to do what they can to help raise money for the family. This town is known for pulling itself through and they believe they'll be able to do it again this time around. Back to you.